Hello and welcome. This video is going to be a review of Reaper, the 10th book in the Cradle series by Will White. Just like I did with all the rest of the books, I consumed this via Audible, and that is because all of his books are pretty much Amazon exclusives, except for the ones that you pledge on Kickstarter, and you might get a book, you know, a couple years from now. <laughs> but Travis Baltry again does an amazing uh, performance. I, I really appreciate his pacing when he is delivering the book. Uh, I'm still waiting for, you know, the books I pledge to come in so that way I can maybe actually read a book to see if the pacing is similar or would be similar because, you know, I read really fast. But I really, I've enjoyed Reaper. Uh, it's it's kind of straightforward, just like Bloodline was, which was my last review. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up above as well as the playlist will be at the end of all of the books in the Cradle series. So. It picks up right where Bloodline lets off, where, you know, Lyndon has completed his mission, basically, which was to save Sacred Valley. Save. Mostly because of the fact that, you know, Sacred Valley did kind of get a little destroyed, considering it was two Dread Gods instead of one that hit it. And he was able to turn him away, but also able to save a lot of people in Sacred Valley, including his own family. And, you know, he's reunited with his parents and his sister, as well as Jai Long and Jai Chen, which is interesting. And this book is also kind of straightforward, where they have like a nice little brief respite. And then they go back to Sacred Valley and go into the Labyrinth, which you learn a lot of really cool stuff. Not only about the characters that you've already been introduced to, um, but a little bit more of the lore and history of Cradle itself, which I found awesome. I also very much liked this book, mostly because of the fact that it kind of felt like a D&D campaign. It kind of felt like a D&D campaign. Like, I feel, I feel like Will White would be someone who plays D&D, and like, this was, you could easily turn this into a one-shot absolutely you could the the labyrinth crawl and i say that because except there's no healers really <laughs> which would be kind of like a dnd &E campaign that me and my friends would play because none of us want to play healers <laughs> but, but you know it's all the group goes into the labyrinth and explores the labyrinth and learns more about each other and themselves and i i enjoyed that because it was really nice to see See everyone work together. You had Lyndon and Hiran and Mercy and Seal, which I'm so glad that, you know, I when I got introduced to that character, I was like, I really like Seal. I hope that he stays and like becomes a main character or part of the group. And he did. And that makes me so happy. And Ethan, and you have you have Little Blue and Orthos. And I just really liked the dynamics of the group both during the respite and also together when they go into the labyrinth. It was just, it was just really nice. It was nice to see them get closer together just as friends and comrades and as a group. The conflict in the book is, you know, there's another monarch causing problems. Well, actually it's the same monarch causing problems. I liked the resolution to the conflict in this book, but it was very bittersweet because I was, I was right. Some, some assumptions I made in like the third book about where the plot was going, I was proven correct in, and that was very bittersweet. But it does make me look forward to seeing where Dread God goes. So now like Dread God is the most recent book that has come out. And so I'm listening to that now and I'm really interested to see how this continues to develop because I mean based on what I've been reading he's either going to end it at 12 or this is like going to be a 15 book series maybe he's trying to like one up the the wheel of time Robert Jordan series and like do one more book than that I just kind of feel like it's either going to end at 12 or it's going to be a marathon just to have like the longest book series so I, I liked the book a lot. Again, it's a very straightforward book. The prose is very sharp. Didn't find any issues with the prose at all. The performance was still really good. You know, I, I don't know. They're just solid books, but not super exciting. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, there's maybe a little bit of a part in there, but I'm, again, I'm trying to do a spoiler free review. So, uh, I guess I will see you guys next time for another review and maybe that'll be Dread God. And then I can finally do my spoilery, <laughs> my, my spoiler review of the whole series. Cause I know you guys have been asking for that. So I will see you guys uh, then and until then, bye. Bye.